Ow. Hello everybody and welcome back to Necropolis. My name is Dinosaur, but you can call me Dinosaur. Today we're going to be starting a fresh run on the Brute because last time we got a really, really terrible run on the Black Guard that lasted absolutely no time at all. Partly due to the fact that I am used to freaking Brute play, which is absolutely miles apart from the way that the Black Guard plays. And partly due to the fact that we just got extremely unlucky. We didn't even get enough gems on the first floor for the first Blessing of the Gods. I mean, what was that? That was crazy unlucky. Today, we are even going to be playing with this red skin, this very, very red skin. You may be asking, why are you doing that? You have colors that I like more than that. You have colors that you like more than that. I do have colors that I like more than that. You're right. How do you know? How do you know about my color preferences? Who told you my color preferences? But that's okay. I can accept that you know those. I can accept that someone told you those. I don't know who it is, but they're probably a cool person. If they know my color preferences, then they're probably someone that I like. I'm going with this because if I can get that armor that reminds me of the Juggernaut, then we can absolutely look as much like the Juggernaut as possible. And I just want to see that in this red one time. That's all I want is to see it one time. All right, here we are in the game. He wakes once more. You've crossed the ash desert. Uh, behold, I'm the brute again. Man, this feels so much better. It just feels nicer you know it just feels like something that i understand better um what do we what do we got going on uh do, 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 do. okay what codex do we want to go towards next vampirism is your friend probably that one to be fair i think i am going to stop using tokens of favor on chess save up for this one this one is absolutely wonderful if i'm not mistaken this might just be the best codex in the game however it costs 17 tokens of favor that's a lot of tokens of favor that is an absolutely amazing amount of tokens of favor it would take me a while to do it but i would i honestly believe that i will get there because there's nothing that can stop me like you're going to get tokens of favor you're going to get tokens of favor over time no matter what i'm going left on this one um you're going to get them even if it takes a while even if that means that i'm not going to be opening chests that are costing tokens of favor for a long time that is absolutely okay with me. Drink potions, shatter grind, wipe out hordeman. That's two quests that I will absolutely complete, and one one uh, one quest that uh, is sort of you know 50-50, I'd say. Really, what it is is it depends if we find grind. If we find grind, we'll do it. If we don't find grind, then we won't, because we can't do it without you know grind to have. We just need to shatter grind. We don't even have to break grind crystals. We have to shatter the grind, which is the people that come out of the grind. The red, the red people, the red crystal people. All right, those are all dead. I like those guys being dead. I prefer them dead to being alive. Um, is there a little secret out here by any chance? Based on the way that this is laid out, it made me feel like there might be something hidden there. It was very much calling to me in a secret sort of way. That's not even a secret wall because it's not whole and there's no text on it. Um, no secrets. Damn. This really looks like it. Oh, there's grind crystals over there. That's good for us. That is good for our uh, ow quest capabilities. No, I don't want you to fall off the edge. I want. I want the sword. I want the sword. Thank you. Okay, now we'll fight you. No, you don't fight me. I fight you. I said I would fight you. Man, I feel like so much better than I was as the black guard. Like it's just there's no comparison. Well, no good comparison. There is a comparison. Just one that I'm not particularly big fan of. There's a door here blocking off this room. There's not a whole lot of a reason for it. I don't imagine there being anything particularly scary in here. This isn't the end of the floor. Uh, I might change my mind on the whole particularly scary quote that I just used. Uh, and by quote, I mean, like, not quote. Well, I guess it's a quote. I said it, therefore it is a quote from me. It is a me quote. I am quoting myself when I say it. And, um, you know, it's just, it just is what it is. Uh, I don't know if quote was the right word, but it's still, like, at least semi-accurate, and I can accept that. There we go, you're dead. I'm going to use one of those shields, because it's better than the shield I had. It's a new shield. Um, no secret walls? No secret walls. Gotta be absolutely sure. There's no text there. I've never seen a secret room that doesn't, uh, have text wall, text on wall outside of it. But, gotta check, gotta be sure. I don't, wow, there's a lot of just doors for no reason on this floor. Uh, nothing hiding there. Okay. I, I gotta check because, you know, I might be missing, like, half of the secret walls in this game because they are on walls that don't have text on them, and I don't want to miss anything that could help me have an advantage in this game to get myself further, make myself do better, make myself feel better, and I'm getting feelings like we're near the end of the floor, and I don't like those feelings. I don't like being near the end of the floor this early. I only have 100 gems. We might run into an issue like last time where we do not have enough gems for the Blessing of the Gods. Which is not a good thing. Um, please do not attack me until I am done with this door. Eh, sorry, more important things. 
Eh, eh, eh. Please die. I don't want to trigger the grind. Not, at least not until this guy's dead. We trigger the grind. Oh god, I hear them. Here they, here they come. That's not a problem. We just need to be aware and deal with it well. Oh, that's four grind. Just four grind. That's beautiful. Thank you, game. You're giving me exactly what I wanted. Okay. Let ourselves regen some stamina. Uh, we didn't pick up a codex, did we? No, okay. We will, uh, we will fix that at the end of this floor. We somehow managed in our quest to look at the codex and decide what codex we wanted next and decide what we wanted to do with that. We uh, somehow managed to just completely forget to actually equip a codex, which will be the stamina one most likely of the ones that I have. I think the stamina one is the best. The other ones are sort of like negligible improvement. Um, I want to go that way because there was a door there and it's a weird direction. I'm just going to replace my regular shield with that just for fun. Um, I don't think there's any, you know, upgrade for this over that. Uh, now I'm confused as to where to, that's just a regular thing, right? No, it's just a rat. Um, there's, there was no reason to go here, was there? No, that's another place. Oh, okay, that's where we were in the beginning. Okay, so th this is just like a little, little maze. A random maze. Doesn't really help me out with anything, but it will exist. I will take your Icker times two. Thank you very much. I know you're in here. You don't really have anything. But I don't want to take any chances. I want the highest chance of getting the Blessing of the Gods at the end of this floor that I could possibly have. Because I'm getting increasingly worried now. After the last time where I didn't have a Blessing of Gods at the end of the first floor, i am now become worried that that is a thing that might happen more often. And I don't want it to happen often. I want my Blessing of the Gods. I want to feel blessed the way that I should, the way that I must. See, look, we were talking about last time. The uh, Black Guard can't break the tables for some reason. There's some of them the Black Guard can't break that the Brute can. But the Black Guard can break some of them just by walking in them now, even if not all of them. It's not something they could do before. I'm happy to see you, Peacock Vendor. That's going to be expensive, but we need it. I know I was saying how I was scared that we wouldn't have enough for the Blessing of the Gods. But to be fair, I would much rather have those two potion, or not potion, those two food recipes than a Blessing of the Gods. That is my preference. I have worked that out. Of the things that I like, that is at the top. Those are things that I require for my runs. Things that I consider absolutely necessary for a successful Necropolis run are uh, those recipes. Because they will help you immensely. Okay, we're going to do something after we kill this guy. i got to show you guys the thing I was talking about last time. It was just sort of set. Ooh, an iron ration. Um, okay, so you remember how little the standard ration was given me or any of the rations really, but the standard ration, because that's what we're holding right now, was giving me as the black card. Check this shit. Look at this on the brute. That is so much more. That is actually a large amount more. Iron ration might even do the rest of the health bar. Look at that. Iron ration does the rest of the health bar. Might have even done a little bit more than the rest of the health bar if we had more health to, you know, health. Um, the, the point being, why does the brute get affected so much harder by food? I didn't realize that. I didn't notice that. That is absolutely huge. That is massive. I don't know if they reduced the the health benefits of food for the Blackguard when they introduced the Brute, or since then possibly, because I haven't played the Blackguard since the Brute came out. But it is absolutely impressive how little the food actually does for the Blackguard, and yet how much it does for the Brute. It is extremely useful in the Brute. I didn't realize how much that I just sort of relied on that health to come back on me because of that. Uh, gonna do that. That guy's going to run the other direction because he's a spider. Spiders don't like being here. I could do with either one. Health or stamina would both have been good there. I got health, which is fine. Oh, did it also regen my stamina? Was I missing stamina? I don't think I was actually missing stamina. I think I was just um missing it because I sprinted over, but not like actually had uh, used stamina. Missing stamina. You know what I mean? You know you know what I mean. Um, torn flesh. Sweet. Always good to have torn flesh. Um, I sort of want to go back and check out the other way now, because there's a lot of stuff on this floor that I think I might have missed. It's a big floor. It's a very confusing floor, but it is absolutely massive for a first floor. Like, I feel like there is more on this floor than there is on most first floors. We are absolutely getting that Hordeman quest on the first floor. That is wonderful for us. Um, I'm happy to see that that's going to happen to us today. I uh, like when my quests are finished very early. Um, Shatter the Grind, drink potions. That was a fair amount of damage I got from those guys. It was nice to have. Um, there's some urns on the other side of here. Some urns on the front side of that one. Well, and by front side, I mean the side that is in front of me. But it's not the front side of the thing. Is That is the front side. As far as I'm concerned, that is the front side of what those look like. This is a weird layout. I don't think I've seen this, at least recently. I've probably seen it before, and I just don't really remember. But I haven't seen it quite recently. 
It's a very interesting way to have the floor look. Oh no, I think I've seen it before. Yeah, I've seen this before. I haven't seen it often, but I have seen it, which is something that happens in Necropolis. As everything is just sort of randomly generated, the stuff that you won't see sometimes for a very long time, simply because it's, it's random. And when stuff is random, you know, anything can happen. I could see it five times in a row one time. Well, not one time, that would not make sense, it would be five times in a row. And for it to be five times in a row, it would have to be five times. But the, the point stands that it, it is completely random. You can't really predict that. I think that might be the end of the floor in there. I don't know. I don't know. It might be. It might not be. Who knows? Well, not me. That's that's the answer I have to that question at the moment. I might have a better one in a little bit. As in probably about like one minute or so when I get over there. But currently, no, no proper answers. No proper answers. I'm sorry. I know you wanted a proper answer, but I don't have one. Look, just stop being rude and die. Thank you for the gems. I appreciate them. That pyramid spider is long gone. There's a chest here. I like chests. I like free chests that I don't have to do anything for. I don't have to pay anything for. Nice free potion and some good amount of gems. Um, use the unknown potion. That guy might start attacking me. You feel restored. Ah, nice. Restoration potion. Um, yeah, I don't, that's just good. Restoration potions are good things to have. No complaints from me here. I don't know why I pronounced it quite that way. That was a little bit odd. I can't admit that. That is the end of the floor. I was correct. There we go. We have the answer to the question that I said I would have momentarily. I did have it momentarily, and that was the moment in which we terribly had it. Um, don't think there's anything hiding behind those pillars. And we are going to finish the floor. All right, here we are. The codex is going to take the, com the, the, the stamina one. I like the stamina one. The stamina is very important to my well-being as a human and as a brute. Which are conflicting things, obviously. They're not things that are similar. They don't go together. They don't happen in the same way. They don't go together that way. No. Alright, everybody. We sort of went back to find a little bit more damage. There was just not enough going around. We found a red pyramid spider literally outside of the end of the floor. Who happened to contain about 120 gems. Which is absolutely wonderful. Got me way over what I need for the blessing of the gods. And this nice little Bob's Fire Sword, which I am also a big fan of. Thank you, Red Pyramid Spider. You are the real hero here. Thank you for getting me this blessing of the gods. Also gonna talk to our friendly old man vendor here. We know he won't have any colors, but that's not what we're after right now. We're after this potion of vigor. So we can have one more potion towards our five potions quest. Get more tokens of favor faster. Because the more tokens of favor we have, the closer that we are to the thing that we want. The thing that costs tokens of favor. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this one. This has been Necropolis. My name is Ben Dyer, so you can call me Dano. Like if you like the video, because if you like it, you might as well like it. Subscribe for more of my videos, including more of my Necropolis series, more Miraculous series, more of the other videos that I do occasionally. And thank you for watching. Yeah.